Santosh says, what are your views on immortality? Is it possible to achieve the same? So immortality means the absence of death. You never die. So in, in mythology, in folklore, etc., we have things like uh, Nosferatu, the vampire. The vampire never dies, right? Immo immortal creature. And of course, we have uh, certain in Indian uh, mythology, so to say. Some people will be offended if I call it mythology. We have the the uh, the immortals, right? Like Ashwatthama, etc. So yeah, we we have the concept of immortality that some people never die and all that. But is it a real thing? Well, I have never seen anybody who's immortal. None of us has seen someone who is immortal, right? Uh, and as far as we know, from all the data that we have, from all the evidence that we have, immortality doesn't seem to be a thing. But, 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 there are, there are caveats. You go, you drill under the earth's surface, many kilometers down, you're going to bring up core samples of rock, of rock that is hundreds of millions of years old, all right? And what you find is that there are bacteria in there in this rock that is hundreds of millions of years old and these bacteria have been entombed in that rock for that long and they possibly went into a dormant state and yet they survived and when you bring this rock out these bacteria come back to life so when it is when it comes to bacteria they seem to have this property of near immortality i mean a hundred million years is and if you if if an organism survives a hundred million years that is more or less immortal so it obviously survives in for this long in suspended animation of some kind it's not actually evolving or, or reproducing or anything it's just existing it's frozen so to say it goes into hibernation of some kind but it does survive so yeah, bacteria seem to have this property of almost, of near immortality. But uh, higher beings like uh, multicellular organisms may not have it. And definitely large animals do not have the property of immortality. We have a certain lifespan, uh, lifespan that's built into us. As we grow older, the, the the telomeres at the ends of our chromosomes they deteriorate, they shorten, and that seems to have uh, the aging of uh, the effect of aging, right? So typically, a hu the average lifespan of a human being it it depends from country to country, but typically the higher limit is about 100, 100 years, one hundred and ten maybe, yeah, that sort of thing. So immortality doesn't seem to be a thing. Now imagine. Imagine hypothetically, you make somebody immortal, right? Is that person really going to be immortal from the identity perspective? Because even if the body is immortal, will the mind survive that long? People who get older, uh, their cognitive faculties decline, right? They have trouble remembering events. Their mental acuity and sharpness undergoes a decline. Even someone like the president of one of the most powerful countries in the world is in clear cognitive decline. So as human beings get older, their mental faculties deteriorate. Their memory deteriorates. And it's possible that there is a certain limit to the amount of memories you can store in your mind, in your brain. And uh, if you go beyond that, you may have to uh, overwrite old memories to create new ones. So let's say you keep a person alive somehow for 200 years. And the, the memory capa capacity, let's say, is memories of, of 100 years. So after 100 years, the person will experience new, new events and he or she will form new memories Will it not happen that these new memories will overwrite the old memories of when the person was young and a child and all that? And if the person lives 200 years, their entire personality may change and all the memories of the past may be gone and, and only new memories be, may be available. So the question is, will the person remain the same person 
or will this be a totally different person these are questions that arise when you talk about immortality right so from a biological perspective for human human beings and other animals it's definitely not possible from all the data and evidence that we have you want to believe stories and all that's your choice from the perspective of evidence there is no evidence that immortality is a thing so yeah it's it's as of today not possible